Men don't breastfeed each other. You know that. They don't do that. It's not a thing. God, that was such an embarrassing meeting, man. What are you thinking? Matt, are we live? 27 countries. It's less this year. Yeah, sorry. Honestly. Welcome to episode number 18 of the Marty and Michael. He's here. I'm fully here. actual podcast. It's All fully right? actual. It's this actual is number 18. Podcast. We've got 22 episodes left. We're nearly halfway through the year. Why do you think, think it's the legal age, age to drink in Australia, Australia is 18, 18 and the, the legal, legal age to drink in the United, United States, States of America, America is 21? That's how it is. Fuck that. Man, 18's like, fuck. I remember being a, when you're like 15, you think I'm old enough to drink. But the older you get, the more ridiculous it seems that you can, because I was a child at 18. I was still a fucking child. Oh, yeah. I was oh. a fucking child. I still am. I shouldn't be allowed to. It should go on based on your maturity levels. I should have a test that tests your maturity. And if you bloody, if you don't pass it, you don't get a fucking beer yet, cunt. You don't get any diesel. Because the shit you did when we were drunk is unacceptable. I still do, and you do it too. Excuse me. You. What's the last thing you fucking did? You've been pretty good lately. You have been weeing. Uh, No, did you wee in any bars last couple of weeks ago? I don't think so. No. But. But. What about, what's your opinion on drugs? What age do you reckon you should do drugs? Not till later when your yeah, brain's I'm, done. Yeah, when reckon, your brain's done. I reckon like if you did pingers in high school every weekend, it's going to be pretty rough in your 20s. A lot of my mates did. And they're all like, but they're all okay. But yeah, it did worry me. Like you don't want to do them every weekend when you're in high school. Drugs weren't even a thing when we were uh, yeah. pussy cats. We, we just knew about alcohol. We See, didn't start pingers till we were like 22. Yeah, that's funny. Because when we were 17 going on 18, it was like pingers and weed and it was heavy. Even weed had weed. Oh, no. What the fuck were you just talking about? I don't know. We had to cut then for a second. Now it's throwing us off and we're really sorry. What the fuck were we talking about, Matt? Drugs? Uh, you're talking about the weekend, what you did? Oh, yeah. Over the, and just back on drugs quickly. Mm. Always. Anyway, moving on now. <laughs> <laughs> I Googled your 21 drinking age and I don't know if this is the exact answer, but it kind of annoys me. It says the drink, the drinking age act of 1984 basically laid the laws down in America about about um, the illegal drinking age and said most of it was enabled in all states because they said here that 10% of their federal highway funding would not be given to them if they didn't make the law 21 in so all states. forced by the government to be put in. Place. From what I see, if anyone is from America can explain that in the comments, please do. Although I see people in Europe and shit, the drinking age is 16 and they're fine. Yeah. So I guess if you're introduced to it slowly, you're sweet. You but don't go like, fucking massive on it when yeah. you hit 21 but, or and To come to think of it, the only reason we binge drank is because no one fucking showed us how to drink responsibly. So we well, would fucking get dudes to buy us piss when we were like yeah. 14 and what then the- just neck everyone down and then we developed these horrible habits these horrible horrible habits i imagine the same shit had happened with drugs so just do everything in moderation and be careful out there i know it's a boring answer but that's just we're wise now watch your back also what the fuck are you meant to do from 18 to 21 if you can't drink what do you do you're an adult then really in well, like well, physically on, think about so what it. you can't you just fucking walk down and you go to the cafe go to the mall friends, you go to the mall like the teenagers what did you do from 15 to 17 you got went you to got school, blind. You went Matt. to parties. You did you went not. To parties. You went to parties. Went so, to school what? every day. You know, what, from eighteen to twenty-one, you just go to parties. Yeah, college parties, oh, all that man. sort of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'm fuck. I'm putting my hands down to that. I reckon there's some. They're up to something, but they just got to get other people to buy it for them. Yeah. Just everyone do anything. All right, prohibition doesn't fucking work. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is sponsored by <clears throat> this beautiful podcast is sponsored by Manscaped. All right. We have a new discount code. I haven't even told you boys this. Apparently, our discount code got leaked on some discount site, right? Oh, wow. And um, they wanted us to change it to fully actual 20. All right, so our new discount code is fully actual 20. So if you want to buy some male grooming shit from manscaped.com, use our discount code fully actual 20 and you will get 20% off everything that you buy. All right? How did it get leaked? I don't know. 
Huh. Don't know. But there you go. So it's a new discount code now. Fucking buy. If you need to buy some male grooming shit, you may as well use our discount code, get some 20% off. Out. Okay? May as well fucking do it. The other fucking sponsor of this podcast and the one that funds our fucking entire life is the University of Markle, our subscription website where we post weekly vlogs. They're 20 to 30 minutes long. They're fucking massive. Behind the scenes of all the videos and just some crazy shit that we can't post to social media or anywhere. Well said. Weekly! Very well said. You can sign up. It's a 21-day free trial. See if you like the content. It's $10 a month. Yeah, fuck, it helps us out. But if you want to just help us out, you can't afford that and you still want to help us out, check just like the video, subscribe it. Yeah, thanks. Definitely check if the windows and doors are shut. Yeah, just subscribe. Engage like, with the video. The comment. Com- yeah, if you if you can, if it's easy, just give a quick thumbs up to the video. Leave a comment. If you can't think of a comment and you think I'm freaking out, I don't want to come on. I don't know. It might not be funny. Just write the best. Comment yeah. the words. The best. It's a comment. YouTube sees it. Fuck, these guys are good. Shows it to your sister. And also subscribe. Okay, there's 30% of you that watch and that aren't subscribed. It helps if you subscribe. Are you really subbed, Matt? To what? Subsuka? Subsuka? To what? Fully actual. To the the actual podcast. Mm. Yeah, 100%. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. Um, yeah, if you fuck and all the if you want to follow our fully actual Instagram, we got an, Marty and Michael fully actual fucking Matt's running that. You're gonna have a fucking chat to Matt. Send him some pictures. He loves pictures. Loves pictures. Good and bad. Um, and uh, that's about all the boring shit out of the way, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, man. well, yeah. And the weekend, what else did we do? We played uh, golf. Had a couple oh, of family yeah. events. I won. I won. I beat James and Matthew Brown. I limped around the golf course because I've got gout at the moment. His, his joints are all thick. Mm. I got really? through it though. It's so fucking fun, isn't it? I could play golf every day. How nice is that course? I mean, it's not like the best course in the world, but it was- um, Yeah, we're in the bush. Very, yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Oh. You could hear the birds. I, that, we saw uh, last podcast, I saw lots of comments, people being like, explain Toka, because we talk about this sport we've invented, Toka. People have asked for a- Somebody asked for a vlog. Yeah, so I, like, I don't, I don't want to- Because it'll take ages to explain. You sort of need to be playing it so you can explain it. So I don't want- It'd be weird if we explained it on the podcast and, and like it, it'd be like five minutes of just boring yeah, it'd rule be explaining shit. it'd be so shit. or we could do this i can write up an explanation in letter form all right i'll copy that and whoever comments on there i will put that explanation to the comment that they put if you do that if they want to know if they really want to know about toko uh, why, why don't we do rules. this We'll film it. We'll, f- we'll film it just of, of the rules and we'll post it to the Marty and Michael fully actual Instagram account. We should patent it. What's patent it mean? Isn't that when you like you buy the fucking trademark it? Yeah. So that no one else can ever play it. Yeah. And then we could sell it. Start a league. Nah, we'll give it for free. I think everyone, anyone, they already do it. Everyone does it anyway. Yeah, we can, it's, oh, like, it's probably confusing We've to people. Got different rooms. People, there's probably like hundreds of variations of what we do is what we're saying. We're not saying that people play this game called Toka because well, that's just a name that we came up with. All right. It's just kicking a fucking ball, using a tennis court and kicking a soccer ball back and forth like volleyball rules, except the ball can bounce once in between touches and then you score it like you do a tennis match. It's fucking fun. I think it's a, about it's it a, every it's day. a rough explanation and Michael is obsessed with it. Yeah, it's gotten bad. Ever since I became single, I'm just like tocker everything and it, But it's and become I'm- very competitive. We've all uh, our, our experience level at it has grown and we're all getting really good at it. Oh fuck, I wish we were playing now. We are. See? Oh yeah. Um fucking that's shit talk, man. Mm. That's fucking shit talk. It's just pretty We sh- met Julian's Mum and family today. We haven't met the whole that family. Vlog, that vlog will be out right now. If you're subscribed to the website, we went to Julian's house. And we interviewed his mum about Julian's f- fucked up behavior. Yeah. Fucked up. So yeah. his beautiful house, met his, met his brothers. Yeah. And man. <laughs> he like had the sweetest fucking upbringing. His mum is so Michael, nice. Michael thinks she's very attractive. No, Mark, I, okay. Michael the reason said why- after that he wants to fuck her No, heart. I did not say that. I, you I did. Just, I said I would love- if she was single, I'd love her for her to look after me like a kid. I just want to be tucked in and shit. <laughs> to look okay. after me. And, uh, and more like s- a nurturing. Splash I want my cum all over the mirror. That's what you said. <laughs> word for word. 
Well, I want her to just look after me. I find that she'd be she'd be a nurturer. I just want her to tuck me in at night and cook me some dinner and tell me everything's going to be okay. And if she could breastfeed you, you would. Yeah, maybe. Oh, definitely. Michael I don't said, know. I hate breast milk. So Michael now wants to fuck Julian's no, mom really I just, badly. I just want to move in and for you to look after me. Yeah, with, with Jordy. Because she reminds me of my mom. But that's sort of weird. Yeah, it's I did hear you have now. a very lovely mother. Yeah. Have we, you met his mum? Like, no, never. The same sort of, they're just really nice. Like, you, they're welcoming people. That's mm. what my mum's like. And so I can mom, tell that Julian's, like Julian welcoming. had the sweetest upbringing. I can guarantee it. He was a menace to them. And she still fucking like just cops it on chin. She like, loved him. Yeah. There's always two sides to every story, man. You never know. Julian's dad could have fucked him. I doubt that. From You never know. All right. You never know. From the outside appearance, it seems like. He had the right environment to be a doctor. Julian should be a doctor. I think he, he you know, he's... Mm, well, he films doctors yeah. and scientists. He's a part of a practice. He's learning. You know, we, we teach him our ways and he's, he's getting there. I reckon he could save someone having a heart attack, Matt. Yeah, he'd just punch him in the fucking sternum. Or throw him off a bridge. But yeah, fucking We heard some fucking funny stories. Some how funny Julian's stories. Julian's turned out from that. So, so so that's out on the website now if you want to go and have a cheeky peek. Um, I don't know what social media video is out right now. Yeah, we sort of clang clung clanged. Yeah. <laughs> fucking oath we did, cunt. With his, the fucking podcast though, again, it's just I know I talk about it a lot, love and seeing the growth. It's fucking we're getting like we get more comments on the podcast now than we do like our main YouTube channel. And the podcast is 20k, our main channel's like 830 or some yeah, shit. that's wild. That's fucking crazy shit, man. It's so good So many comments, so it. many likes. It's just fucking, it's lovely to see everyone. Hooray for us. <clears throat> All right. Now, it's time. Without further ado. It's time to find out what we all wrote in our diaries on this day, fucking however many years ago. All right? Now, Matt, you're copping a bit of heat from this because your diary entries are quite fucked, aren't they? But you just, you're, you're sort of just thinking you want people to know so people can, so if there's someone else with this issue, with, with this problem that, you know, there's a way out and you have made it out the other side. Well, it's like a, a murderer or a rapist committing the crime and then making a book about it. Hang on, you just <laughs> related me to a murderer or a rapist. <laughs> uh, well, was horrible. I was using that as an example. <laughs> that was a horrible example. <laughs> well, it's like a really, really, it's like fucking Hitler writes a book. <laughs> now you just put me <laughs> on par with Hitler. Okay. It's Dennis Ferguson. What are you doing? No, that's even worse. Okay. All right. It's, fucking, I don't know. It's, it's look, Matt. All you need to know is Matt's come out the other side, and he's a normal person now. But he had his mental demons, and his psychologist, thank God, would tell him to write down his diary entries every day. And he was a uh, very detailed. But that that helped you get over a very strange mental episode you were going through. Sometimes just you just, get on with you it. You got to put it on paper. Sometimes you got to put it on paper. Just get on with it. <laughs> But first, we'll do mine and Michael's, and we'll see how fucked we were back then. Is Julian there? Yeah, Julian's oh, got one. Yes. Julian's got one, too. His writing's quite messy, though. It's hard to translate. Anyway, mm. diary entry number 167 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. To save time, I found that wiping my ass three times after shitting gets rid of the most of the chunks, and the rest just dries in between my cheeks and is easily picked off later. I had custard <laughs> for breakfast. Yeah, Michael used to have fucking... A litre bottle of custard <laughs> for breakfast. He'd be like, oh, I'm a bit fucking hungry. We'd wake up fucking midday. Oh, I'm a bit fucking hungry. And he'd walk upstairs, pull a litre bottle of custard out, and he would sit there and drain the fucking <laughs> carton into his fucking gullet. <clears throat> and his eyes would be closed. He'd be fucking moaning in place. He can't. <laughs> Dude, and I then did, on I we went with his custard. day. That's how fucked his diet used yeah, to be. it was bad, okay? Oh, Man, well, surely, that surely that's hurt you somehow. Well, fuck, I don't know. There's probably heaps of shit gone wrong, but you, let's just forget about it and move on. All right. Diary entry number 188 from Marty. Today I was laughed at by the entire school because someone overheard me speaking German to my mom on the phone. <laughs> 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 the amount of times I've just sat there, pointed at him, and p 
kissed myself until he's just slowly walked away <laughs> as he's been on the phone to his mum. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, it's so good, dude. You did it the other day. I was well behaved, but inside I was dying. Yeah, that's, that's funny. <laughs> Diary entry number 38 from Julian James Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove or some shit. <laughs> 4060 till I die. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I've got a hammer. Today I taught some year fives how to graffiti. It's good to recruit them young because like that way our gang stays alive if we ever get pinched by the blue dogs. Off to find some prostitutes tonight. Ha ha. You, Ashgrove Northwest, North Norths for life, cunt dog. Fuck off. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, and Matt's, of course, is uh, quite detailed here. All right, let's see. This could be, um, you know, he could be already clearing up mentally. He could be in a much better place. I don't know. I haven't read it one, this one yet. Um, because, you know, he did get better as, as he got older. Like these thoughts and behaviors faded. Anyway. <clears throat> Diary entry number 1421 from Matthew Gregory Brown. Oh, no. It was a still spring evening. I lazily sat in my room and was watching a fly crawl across my bare chest. It felt good and tickled and my nipples hardened. <laughs> the fly flew up and landed on my eye. It continued to crawl from one eyeball to the next. I blinked and crushed the fly with my eyelids. <laughs> I smiled. <laughs> Silly fly. <laughs> then I saw some movement out of the corner of my eye. I stood and looked out the window to see a large male cat mating with a much smaller female cat. They were both growling at each other and the male cat had the female pinned. My heart skipped a beat as I watched the male cat ease his little lipstick into the female pussy's pussy. I started to sweat and I realized I was jealous. My jaw clenched and my hands turned to fists. That female cat was on my property and the only one fucking things on my property should be me. I will not <clears throat> I will not be second best to this large male cat. I thrust my window open as my rage became unbearable. I grabbed the only weapon close to me, which was my hard-crusted cum rag, and I flung myself out of my second-story bedroom. The fall was much higher than I anticipated, and I landed on my feet. My ankles exploded on impact, but I did not feel the pain. The cats had spotted me and froze. I launched myself at the fucking cats, and in their panic, they became twisted and confused. My broken ankle bones crunched and rolled around under my skin as I sprinted but it did not slow me just as i arrived at, at the fucking cats they separated and split i dove to forwards and grabbed the male cat's tail it turned and began slicing my hand and forearm to pieces my grip on its tail tightened and i grabbed the cat's nutsack with my free hand with one quick twist the testicles were removed and the cat was now screeching and i launched it over my fence i turned to the female cat it has t it had turned back to look at me big mistake i screamed i threw my hard crusted cum rag with all my brown might. The comrade connected with the female cat and it was knocked unconscious instantly. I power walked over on my shattered ankles and stood over the pussy with my thick brown. I knelt down and finished what the male cat couldn't. My brown flesh exploded as I drove my mat sauce deep into the cat. As soon as I finished I was snapped back to reality. The pain from my ankles hit me and I looked around to see my shocked neighbor staring at me. My cat! She yelled. I started dragging my body back to the house. My yard! My rules i crawled back into my home and locked the doors i might get a pet i thought to myself <laughs> that is fucked up imagine seeing some guy jump from a second story and his ankles just blow out <laughs> he continues to walk confidently oh man oh. i don't remember any of that that's why you write it down i get it now i get it uh, it makes sense. Like, because it seems like you black out. Like you mentioned, you sort of snap back after you'd finished. Oh. I should get a pet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you ever get one? Yeah, I got a dog named Jake. Oh, Jake the Snake. Jake. Blue Healer. <laughs> Blue Healer. <laughs> oh, Blue Healer. Oh, I thought you had a fart. No. Oh. I've only done two farts today, so I don't know how we'll go. You've got to have beans. The night yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what meal I need to have. Didn't you say Mon made yeah, beans? Yeah, it was. You're right. Maybe I should have beans in yeah, the mornings. Everyone, it's like universal. But sometimes I have beans just in the mornings and I don't fart. Maybe the night before. Yeah, maybe I need beans the night before to fart. <laughs> question time, question time. 
Now, you guys write in your questions, all right? And remember, the questions we answer are the ones on our YouTube channel, on the fully actual YouTube channel, the ones with the most likes. Okay, so when you're commenting, have a scroll. And if you see a question that you want us to answer, give it a like, right? Because that pushes it higher. Yeah, that's how we do it here. And we read all of the comments, don't forget. So if you want to ever tell us something, let us fucking know. Because we literally read all of them. There's some funny shit there. I saw a funny one, a real random one the other day. Oh, one made me laugh the other night. Something about... It's probably the same one. Fuck, yeah, it would have been. Uh, <laughs> a zoo. Yeah, that rings a bell. Anyway, we read all the comments, so fucking keep them coming, all right? And keep the questions coming. Even if we don't answer your question one week, come back next week, try again. Don't yeah, give up, man. Yeah, so it counts as a comment <laughs> and helps at, us out. Look at us, man. What pieces of shit? <laughs> 32, 31, 40. <laughs> <laughs> you liar, you liar. <laughs> Shake your tits. Shake your tits. <laughs> Man, I wish we had tits sometimes, eh, cunt? Imagine oh. all the fucking tricks you could do. Just grab them as hard as you can. Imagine smashing both tits and make, making it look like it's just one, one nipple. center breast one nipple as one well if you align it breast properly would be so good and glue glue them together oh. like that <laughs> dude if i was a girl that's a fucking great video you could do like weird super glue tricks with your tits if we were chicks glue them up on your shoulders so the nipples are Man. pointing the sky to the sky i just realized if we were chicks and we just start an only fans oh, and do shit like that we put um, I'd put my tits in your ass <laughs> <laughs> we do all sorts of fuck yeah, shit yeah. put fireworks up our pussies <laughs> <laughs> you little ones you get little ones yeah, you okay. cracker <laughs> <laughs> yeah fuck I reckon yeah having boobs would be fine so let's get them I was uh, very uh, very, very be close before we even before we started making money we would from videos we were desperate we were so poor fucking nearly homeless so much debt and no real like we, there was no light at the end of the tunnel we didn't know when we were going to start we making money yeah. from videos so we would I remember the time I fucking we wrote on our Facebook page I'm going to cut my pinky finger off like a fucking donate me 50k like, like a, a GoFundMe go yeah if we could get to 50k I was going to cut my pinky oh, finger you could get everyone's like fucking on. contacting us saying you guys yeah, that's are, are you alright and then I had to delete it and then like I remember you said if we got a TV show I'd get a or breast if we had a plant. high budget yeah high budget show so maybe Netflix the future we'll fucking you'll get a breast in the center of your back a breast and <laughs> breast implant <laughs> imagine that imagine like you could even if like a girl got it you could use it as like a handle <laughs> it'd like be like a nice handle like as you're having do like doggy style it'd yeah I, well. I could just get a handle implanted <laughs> on my back <laughs> yeah, I could a see door that. handle <laughs> <laughs> and you can open it somehow so you can twist it open then your asshole opens up you close it and it seals false like a false <laughs> alright anyway Mm, strange energy in the basement tonight. There's a, <laughs> there's a small po small table, tennis table. Someone there? said, okay, I saw a comment about the flute. You've got to hold these holes. No, nah, because look, ready? Without holding holes. I've, I've watched it. <laughs> yeah. True. Still works. Okay. you got to have the holes to make different notes. Mm -hmm. Did you wash it? I think so. He wants to play it. You yeah, I'm so. going to put it... If I have a fart, I'm willing to put this in my ass. And if, then we'll see if it plays. I reckon the air will escape out the sides if you shove it all the way in. I reckon your fart will get stopped <laughs> because you got something coming in. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be like, It's like a one-way lane. Someone's got to you might break have to, to let the yeah, other one... Shove it in through. and squeeze your cheeks together at the same time. So well, you have airtight. I'll put it in. You have to squeeze the cheeks together. Yeah, so it's airtight. And then I just push. Mm. Maybe we can do one now. Boop. Anyway, let's get to oh, the questions. Wait, All right. Um, oh. Michael's going to shit himself again. Yeah, wait. Let's just calm down. Let's not get too... Into let's that not again. get too carried yeah, away. Yeah, you're wearing nice clothes today. Oh, yeah. Oh, everyone. This is our website. If this you want is one, one of, of our, these. Yeah, for our vapes. We're adding shit to it soon too. So, don't worry. I know there's fucking $400 vapes. Cutn.com. Um, Cutn. C-U-T-N.com.au. 
very important you remember the AU. You can buy your vapes, all sorts of weed, paraphernalia stuff on there. But we have to be careful and add things slowly. So just give it a bit of time. We'll let you know when we add some cooler shit to it, right? But if you want one of these packs, they're fucking 400 bones. Mm. Fire it up. Very, right very good. Okay? I want some now. Question. Next question, please, Matthew. Uh, first question. Oh, fuck. What, 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 the, what the fuck, what the man? Fuck? What the fuck? What, the, what, what are we talking about? What the fuck? Breasts and shit. My God. We got excited about having tits. What? That's why we fucking took so long to get the story. <laughs> How long was Did that we... my fault? You guys went on <laughs> we about got breasts excited and breasts. about breasts. <laughs> All right. Next question. All right. First question. <laughs> what? Is what? from Stelio. Um, and this was the most liked question. Um... And it's for me. Wow. Um, Matt Brown, does your little Brown get excited when Marty reads your diary entries? And truth is, I get quite on edge because I just don't know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uncomfortable, yeah. some would say. He's quite uncomfortable with his little diary entries. <laughs> <laughs> um question from the captain barracuda um marty do you prefer to go down on a cow before or after you've had your way with them no i don't go down on that's fucked up it's usually like yeah it's just pure fuck drive driving my fuck sticks straight down its guts that's all i'm doing and i'm fucking doing as much damage and ripping and pulling and punching and swaying my arms around as i fuck do you have Hard. fists or open palm? It varies. Whatever's going to inflict more damage. If it's a hairy beast, I tend to wrap their hair around my fists and stand up powerfully. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, there's a whole range of shit that happens, man. Maybe I should make diary entries about the cow fucking episodes. Oh. That could help me get over oh. it, you know? Yeah. Because you haven't fucked one in ages. Well, I've just been too busy. Do you have some diary entries around the time you started I've never, heading towards I've never, Cal? but I would too, just like you, Matt. I would black out during these episodes. So, we have that in common. But I just purely, I go for cows. You go for, well, from what I, mean, I can read, pretty much anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything living. <laughs> uh, next question is from Ruben, mate. Um, are you guys still planning on bringing out a book that you guys were talking about? I think he's referring to the, a time where on the podcast we read out about doing a book of the past. Yeah, yeah. So, I even met with a um, an author and a guy who can hook hook us up with a uh, publisher. And we just sort of discussed the things I be, would be allowed to write in the book and things that we wouldn't be allowed to write in the book. And it was some pretty shit news. Mm. Um, I can't divulge all of the fucked up shit that led to us being right here at this table. Because it's um, it could get me arrested. That's so silly. But I'll I'll oh yeah, it's I'm still going I'm still going it's still going to go ahead. I'm still going to write the book. But yeah, I just have to write like a sample chapter, send it off, and then um and then see how we go. And so I'll see works. if I can dance around the the fuck the shit. one sort of aspect that it's probably so it's probably creating so much confusion and annoyance. If I was hearing this, I'd be like, "Fuck you yeah, for saying fuck that." Yeah, yeah, tell us. Sorry. I'm not allowed to, but it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty crazy. We, we've nearly fucked everything up so many times. It's a fucking, man, we were fucked, cunt. I saw some comments from um, some South Africans and um, and I looked at Anna Lee. We have, a, we have a percentage of viewers from South Africa, from Canada, from all over the fucking world. So fucking legends, all right? You South Africans, I see you. And Canadians? Scandinavians? See you too. I Maybe know, some I Estonians? A lot of Europeans, definitely. Some Icelandics? I don't know about Icelandics. We definitely had um, Bosnian. Remember that? Bosnian. We had a Bosnian comment. Um, next question is from David Tasker. Um, boys, Simpsons or Futurama? Favorite one. Um, S- Simpsons like was pretty shit hot when I was a kid. And then Futurama wasn't quite as good. But then like... I then, think now maybe Futurama, but not. But then, like Family Guy came along and just blew that shit out of the yeah, water. And now true. I watch Simpsons and it's like so fucking, so PG. I'm just. Seems, I've never been into cartoons. Yeah, I know you don't like. It's strange like, that everyone was banging on about South Park. I never got into it. South Park is very. I never really watched South Park, but when I do, it's very funny every time. And that documentary, one week to air or whatever. 
The oh, South yeah, Park yeah. I think fucking cool shit. I watched that too. Yeah, that was interesting. One week to air. It's like a documentary on how a South Park episode is made from what day want from in seven days. Because it's cool, seven cause days it's to so air relevant. or something. Yeah, it's called and it's fucking awesome. I see how they brainstorm and shit. <laughs> Yeah. Next uh, question is from Leem G. Uh, did either of you ever beat uh, or play a current former tennis professional or anyone who's played on the ATP tour? Yep, I Bernard. played. I played uh, Tomic in Rockhampton once. Um, yeah, he went up an age group and uh, he fucking kicked my ass, even though he was like three years, young, four years younger than me. Yeah, fuck. But yeah, he lived and breathed it. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't. Ugh, fucking, there is one player we played a few weeks ago, but we can't mention his name. Oh, yeah, that fucking. But yeah, like no, no. Yeah, comment your country. I'm happy to. Yeah, comment see your that. country. Yeah, actually, I would love to C- see comment that. your country. And Logan asked another question. He said, um, "After the pandemic calms down, um, which country would you love to visit that you haven't been to yet?" India. Hmm, very good really India is on the list or yeah you're gonna go to the cow dung throwing <laughs> fucking festival or Scandinavia India's a bit fucking um, it's a bit bloody um, like fucking um, there's like there's the, you drink the water right and you f- you die yeah but same you know with I mean? like a lot of other like third world countries like yeah. Southeast Asia is like that South American I countries I just reckon like it'd well. be fucking they've got some cool festivals so Henry went there and he he sold it to me. Yeah, I, th- I think I'm just a bit scared now from third world countries after what Bali did to me. Yeah, true. You had a rough run, but you just got to know how to travel them. Yeah, fuck new country, either India or Scandinavia. Yeah, but also the one we, we plan oh, on Canada. Going to, Fucking Canada would we, be right. Yeah, free uh, legal weed. But yeah, we'll go. We'll go to as many countries as we can. So don't stress. We're not only going to go to India. <laughs> Actually, you're. Yeah, like, no, I mean that's just if I probably yeah that's just me going on a little fucking journey. I'd probably want to go to India by myself. Your um, with you guys, your experience you guys in are. Bali though, um, I reckon in a lot of countries it will be exactly the same. I have my phone stolen fucking two times? Yeah, like France, Spain, like the like big pickpocketing world like countries there. So it, so, it can happen anywhere, I think. But so. more so in fucking Bali. Twice oh, in really what, three know. days? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking rife in Bali. Every fucking second person wants to knife you or steal something <laughs> from you. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I've been a, f- a fair few countries. I've never been robbed, luckily. But And they put their fucking yeah. their holes on the side of their road. You fucking walk straight into them and... <laughs> You mean the drain? Knock your fucking front teeth out, cunt. After fucking 10 values. <laughs> fucking have a couple of vowels and you fucking end up in a fucking <laughs> ditch somewhere with your gums all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even have a nice stroll <laughs> sideways walking down the fucking road, cunt. I still remember popping out of their 7-Elevens. And just hear this, Michael, Michael. And I'm looking around and he's no one's there. And then I look down this hole. I literally couldn't walk in a straight line. It was yeah, zigzagging we just across going the road. Side side. Everyone who's been to Bali will know that the drains along the streets. Oh, <laughs> man. Imagine if a fucking car came. Imagine car. if it went up there, car. Yeah, or if it, oh. if it fucking was fucking two millimetres higher, we'd have been straight on my fucking tooth, you cunt. Oh. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, oh man. That oh. makes me cringe. Imagine pulling me head up and me fucking front teeth are going to come. Um, next, next question is from, from Dylan, Dylan Pemberton. Pemberton. Um, um, Michael, are you ever worried about the after effects from all the abuse you go through? <laughs> <laughs> that made me giggle. Um, There's been nothing permanent, yeah. Like, Unless is it's he psychological, talking physical, or psychological. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Is I it- sort of. Each time you do a stunt and you you get you get through it, it's like. You're a, a bit tick. stronger. Yeah, you feel like a tick. I'm stronger than that stunt. He probably now. means the tick off the bucket the, list. The abuse directly towards you. You're a bit twitchier than you used to be. Yeah, <laughs> you're <laughs> wrong. You, I go to scratch my arm and he starts screaming or something yeah. like that. It's just yeah. The I always cover dick and ass. Yeah, when he walks past me, past he always covers like, his dick and his yeah, ass, and he you walks grab at it. I do not, Matthew. You do it to me all How's the time. It? How it. dare you? He just sort of, <laughs> oh, he'll grab the tip of your dick and shit. It's fucking. He knows. Ex- oh, it's fucked up. I always yeah, know where the tips of dicks are. I always know where the tips of dicks are. 
It's just like, oh, it's so irritating, dude. Like, I'll I reckon, slap at him I sometime. reckon if you, you guys were standing around me and blindfolded me, I'd still be able to... <laughs> yeah, he he knows the, the height. Yeah, I don't know that. No, I reckon it's sort of you take the good with the bad, and it's worth being around because a lot of the time you're laughing. Yeah, we're very blessed to live the life that we are. Sure, it's incredibly stressful sometimes, but hey, at the end of the day, this we can't call this work. Yeah, it's just us hanging out like we used to and filming it. Next question is from Aiden Herlow. Um, has anyone thrown human shit at Judge Judy's back yet? No, I sort of gave up on that because I realized that she's nearly 80. And I watched, yeah, an interview of her. She's lovely. Yeah, she's a very kind, sweet old uh, woman. I really, still, though, still, I'd love to see a fresh human shit splatter all over Judge Judy's back. Like, I'd love to see it. I'd watch it. Yeah, I'd definitely watch it. And that. love to see I, her reaction to that. I wouldn't want her to know. I wouldn't want to yeah. be there. I'd want to see it on a, a video because I'd let's, feel bad seeing it. Let's message her. I wonder, if, I wonder if she's on fucking um, Instagram. I'm just going to have a quick fucking cheeky cheeky cunt. Next question is from Dan's Garage. Uh, do you think you two are sterile after all the nut shots you've taken over the years? This gave me an idea. Michael's had We, fun. for the website, let's go and get a sperm count and see who's- oh, That's exactly scary. what was suggested. That's scary. As from him. What if we? What if it comes back and we we have milk, actual milk instead of sperm? I'm happy with that. We won't. It's impossible. You and <laughs> we could even impossible. we could have a we could see. Just putting that out can, there. Because then you have to go to a room and shit. We could see who can jerk off the quickest, or who can who can summon the biggest load. Yeah. Well, I think Jackass did this years ago. They had like a sperm Olympics. Easy content. And we can we can both jerk off in the same room, but one of us is outside the door, obviously, while one's inside, and one can try and distract oh, the other. Oh, yeah, dude. That's going to be the so timing difficult. Thing. Yeah, it's going to be so hard. Oh, Jackass did the time thing, how long it takes for each person to jack off. Yeah, they the odd. So, um, I don't think we're sterile. And Michael might, might have... Um, some testicular cancer when he's like 60 or 70, but yeah, I think we're still quite um, quite potent. Um, next question is from F- Fan. Fan? Fan. 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 Uh, when will you guys film the series Marty vs. Michael? Uh, that'll be towards the end of the year. So when we get our fucking reach restrictions fucked off out of here, then we'll do a Marty vs. Michael. And um, yeah, it's going to be quite a shit 10 weeks. Oh. It's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's coming. But yeah, we just wanna we just gotta fucking get ahead first. We're bloody <laughs> on the back foot again. Bloody earth cunt on the back burners cunt because one fucking tennis playing dog cunt who fucked us around for fucking four weeks cunt. <laughs> next question is from <laughs> Next question is from Suave Darts. Da. Um your insanity gives me sanity. Is that crazy or is that a theory? Well, um, let's see. I think it's yeah, it could be insanity. Maybe it's because maybe it's just it makes you feel silliness. not alone. Yeah, so then it makes you feel like you've oh, there's got a community. some other cunt out there it's who's fucked more cunt. fucked than me. <laughs> 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 um, next question is from Josh Keo, and a lot of I actually saw this a few times. Is a lot of people ask where your jumper was from, Michael? Yeah, people love his Heinston? jumper. Heinston? Heinston or something. Heinston? I don't know. Hallenstein. Julian knows. Hall- it's a store called Hallenstein. I it? can never remember that. H-A-L-L-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. And it has... I found it before. I thought... I'm, I'm, I was going to tell you before, but I thought, fuck it. I'll tell him live on the podcast. I did get a pen and stab through it once. And I put it in, back in your room. Matt, do you want to go get it and show everyone? I put a big hole in it. No, he didn't. <laughs> I did. I thought I was going to tell you live on the podcast. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, where right. is it? Why not just something else? I really like that jumper. Where is it, Michael? Where, I put it in your room. It's on my top of my fan. He, he's lying. Top of my fan. How much was it? Only 60 bucks or whatever. Yeah, but it was the last one there. No, it wasn't. It was. He's like, we've got that size and small. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So, they got small ones. Small is shit. You need bag, sag. Well, anyway, I lied. Fuck. Okay, cool. All right. We're good. I, I, yeah, I didn't do that. So, But that's where you get that uh, jumper from. Sorry. Sorry. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Swine. <laughs> 
Um, and final question for today um, is from Cristiano Ronaldo's fans. Apparently, they watch. Um, Cristiano. Have you guys Ronaldo. ever had a paranormal activity type experience? Yeah, we've, surely we've talked about these. We've spoken this about this on a previous podcast. Mine was with Charlie Charlie, the spirit of Charlie Charlie. You spin it round. I wish game. we still had that Q and A. Remember that Q and A where that orb landed on your shoulder? You yeah, looked over and it flew that off. That was weird. That was, and that was hap- that happened. And that happened while we, all that fucking Grab weird that. shit Grab was happening that. to Grab you. That. You fucking cunt! <laughs> you fucking cunt! <laughs> Come here, you black dog! You fucking cunt! That he's wearing all black. He looks like he works on a stage. Oh yeah, you look. No, like- don't say that. <laughs> Come and show everyone, Matthew. Work said that to me once. Come and show it's everyone. Like he's, he's, he's a ventriloquist a fucking, or something. Like, what's, what's Come a and show? do a performance, everyone. The Mormon, the Book of Mormon. <laughs> See the black? <laughs> he grabbed his bum. Um, all right. Yeah, fuck. Weird shit's happened. If you fuck with it, I reckon shit ha- goes down. I had a little game and I was abusing this spirit because he he actually every time we asked him a question, the pencils would turn to what yes was or it no. Called? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Charlie. And then I got obsessed with it and every fucking night I would set it up and I just one night kept it going. Everyone went to bed. I was abusing the spirit for about an hour. Everyone went to bed. I stayed up editing. Then everything in the room like this just started turning on and off. The computer, the microwave, the that oven. That is so The fucked fucking up. lights were flickering for about 30 seconds. And then, you know, when you're so scared, you just don't move. I just froze like this for so long. And then it was about two minutes later, I was like, all right, I'm going to start moving. Got up and I looked at the coffee table where it was set up and the pencil had turned to yes. Oh. Then I fucking ran upstairs, woke up my roommates and just, they told me I've got to stop this shit. And I slept with the light on and God damn it, dude. It was, I can't watch horror movies anymore. Really? Dude, it's so like, I can't, growing up what? now, I just get scared easier. Like, because remember when you're a kid, you can watch Saw and all the gore is like, yeah, that's cool. Now all the gore puts me off and I feel all sick after it. No, really? it's opposite. No, yeah, I can't same. Like, you, the, you get desensitized to it. No, and you know, it's, oh, it's all just bloody pencils and drawing. I've and become shit. like real hey, soft freak. with it. I can't, I feel sick. And if I, I can't, like it's more, I guess, because I'm watching a horror by myself. I get in my head and then I think supernatural well, invite me shit. around, I'll watch you with I've you. fucking seen you do half this shit on Saw to yourself, cunt. Yeah, true. But... <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that is a lot. <laughs> oh, it's like the blow flu. I want to call that the, the blow, blow fish. Frog. The blow, blow, fro- blow, blow fish. Fli- blow blow fish. Frog. The blow frog fish. Okay. I'm getting distracted. But yeah, horror films too difficult these days. Itchy. Uh, anyway, uh, that is the end of the questions. Remember, if you want your question asked, it's commented down below and we'll read it. We'll read all the comments. Uh, next segment. And uh, this is a segment where we try and fucking hunt down a rumor or some shit. I don't even know how you explain it. And I don't feel like it. But what we're going to do is we're going to message Shannon Knoll. And only Aussies probably know who Shannon Knoll is. Shannon Knoll's like the first ever Australian Idol. And I'm sure every country watching has had their own version of it. This dude came second in the first ever season. And he's like a bit super Aussie. And he fucking, he's got a fucking beard and shit. Yeah, he's just, he's just Australian celebrity. Yeah, an Australian celebrity. And we are going to get him. Well, he had a hit song, right? It wasn't really a hit song. Let's just call it. He had a song, <laughs> <laughs> and it was called Drive. And one he had of the many lines, songs. one of the lines from Drive was, "I've got a car," and then it continues on, "I've got a big black shiny car. Maybe tonight we can go for a ride." And it's fuck, it's pretty catchy. Have a listen to it. it. I liked it. Very catchy. Yeah, I've got a car. I've got a big black shiny car. Maybe tonight we, we can, can go, go for a ride. ride. Let's drive. Anyway. And that's pretty similar to what it sounded like. Yeah. Very catchy song. We, he says, I've got a car, okay, in that song. So, we want to find out if he's still got a car. Is that it? Do you still have that car? I'm just going to say. <laughs> the black shiny one. Yeah, the black shiny one. The black shiny one. And if I, he says yes, <laughs> to still go for rides. <laughs> our mi- yeah, our mission is our mission. Is, our mission is if he replies, which he will, right, 
<laughs> we are going to ask him to send us a video of him saying that he still got a car. That's pretty fucking big, man. What if he sings it to us? I, I, that's uh, no, I won't that. ask for it, but what if he does? I'm going nah, to ask, I, I, I'm I, ask I, him for it. If he replies, I'm going to ask him for it. Okay, but I'm going to ask for some money too. Yeah, singing. Send, him our, send him our bank details. <laughs> send I'm him ask, our PO I'm going to ask for some money, yeah. Listen, that could be a funny segment. Maybe for next season, we uh, just DM hundreds of celebrities and ask, ask for, for money. For <laughs> Dude, then we'd be known as like the poor fuckers around, yeah. among the celebrities. Oh, it's Pretty better than the already, Conan. Better than the. Wouldn't it be better than oh. farty man and shits himself? <laughs> Fart man and shits himself. That's our new name. Fart. Fart man and shits himself. Fart. Oh. Come watch our video where we toss the shit in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we had to talk about. We had to look at all the comments as well about the live podcast for the season finale. And I think we're gonna have a crack. We're gonna do it right in Brisbane. We're gonna find a venue soon. It's not. It's probably not gonna be able to be like this because I can't imagine us sitting on a stage and then having fucking a couple of hundred people just sitting in silence the whole time listening to us do this. We'll have to well, think yeah, about it. Yes. We'll I don't to, see why we'll you couldn't to... sit at a table and talk to the crowd. Yeah, 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 but we'll have to have like some performances and shit, I guess, too. Maybe the crowd can come up and throw shit at us. No. <laughs> <laughs> if, like, that's... no, not shit, like just stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. well, maybe shit. Oh, well, we'll okay. see. Yeah. Everyone bring your own shit. <laughs> yeah, bring a bag full of your own guts. <laughs> 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 So anyway, we'll keep you posted on what happens with Shannon Noll in The Hunt. <clears throat> All right, next segment. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. And this is a segment where I just casually read out very common German phrases as if I was in a conversation with another German person. And for some reason, this is funny. <laughs> Ich steh auf dich. Oh. Ich steh auf dich. 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 What the <laughs> fuck, man? Dish? Which means I stand on you. Which means I'm into you. Is dish you? It's dish, sort of like dish. A, it's an aggressive way to like. Of course, the Germans. Ich call steh it. auf dich. <laughs> like I stand on you. Yeah, and you're so fucked and up. You're trying, in Germany, if you can sort of physically dominate the other person, it helps. So that's like, I guess, I'm into you. Sounds like I'm into you is also fucked because you're saying you're in them. Yeah, yeah, but that's sex. No, I'm in you. Standing <laughs> over, that's like dominate. Like that's I'd rather that's- someone dominate than integrate, cunt, and be in me, cunt. Yeah, okay, but maybe if you are into a girl, you, they want you in them. Yeah, but that's not the first thing you say to them. If someone if someone likes me, I would prefer them to stand over me rather than shove it in me. Okay, yeah, that's a fair point. Well, oh, unless they're like banging, then you would want it in in it straight away. You're saying that you'd rather be stand on than have sex. Um, All right. Yeah. I'm sticking to that one. I'm putting my guns down and out and saying, there they are. That's my deck of cards. <laughs> I'm standing firm with that. So moving along, please. I'm not changing my mind. <laughs> I'd rather someone standing over me. Okay. <laughs> Your deck of cards, dude. Du machst mich fertig. <laughs> What's going on with that one, mate? What's happened there with Germany? What have they decided? Du machst mich fertig! <laughs> what are they... What are they <laughs> du machst mich fertig! <laughs> what have they decided that means? Which means you make me ready. Which means, like, you wear me down. You're, uh, well, it, it actually translates... You, du machst mich fertig. Fertig is, like, finished. You make me finished, basically. Is what so, it's mean. sexual. 
Um, no, no, it's finished as in like you spent. It's you're just done. yeah, you and you wear okay. me, you wear me down. You wear me down is basically what that one means. Okay, all right. Last one. Yeah, last one. Thanks. And I'm not go. changing my mind on that. Okay, it's on so, your deck of cards. That's exactly right, mate. In my loaded gun, there is my deck of cards. I lay them down, and I've laid them out for everyone to see backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me this off the pile, man. <laughs> Bring me this off the pile, man. This off the pile, man. Bring me this off the pile, man. Which means, don't bring me on the palm. <laughs> Which means, stop annoying me, man. <laughs> Bring me to the country pile, man! Very good. That was very good. Very good, Germany. Fucking high five, Germany. <laughs> I told you sexy language. Sexy language, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm squeezing my liver. <laughs> oh, I'm Germany. I'm Germany. I'm Germany. <laughs> The bullies at school so I'm Germany, look at me, I'm Germany (laughs) Crying in the corner (laughs) The blood splash on the pie, man (laughs) I lash out at them, I say I lash out (laughs) I lash out at them, I'm crying in the corner No one's helping No one's helping me all right, our next segment, the P.O. Box, is where you guys send shit into our P.O. Box. We go get it and then open it live on the podcast. We have two parcels. This is the P.O. Box. It's 256 Tagum 418 Queensland, Australia. You can send 40, us 18. Well, you can send us whatever the fuck you want, all right, and we'll open it live. We've had some fuck shit sent to us. Matt, toenails, fingernails, toenails, semen, semen shit, skin. All sorts of shit, all right? Tampon. If you want to join, maybe we haven't had a used nappy. We haven't had vomit in a bag. There's all sorts of things you can send, all right? Oh, we got lollies. Oh, they might be gummies. Oh, they might no. be fucking Shut weed up, dude, gummies. Don't you dare get my fucking hopes up, cunt. No, oh. they're dick gummies. Fuck! Oh. All right, uh, this lovely person has sent in some gummies. They're dick-shaped gummies, all right? Gu- uh, gummy candies, bag of dicks. So they're just normal gummies. Uh, let's taste them. Oh, it's got this ingredient. Oh, are the dicks confetti as well? Oh, shit. Acid. It's got as- oh, citric acid in it. Oh, no, it does have as- on a malic acid. It's got, so it does have acid, but not. What are they out of 10? How's the dick? Fuck off things. <laughs> I want a red one. With dick hands. Watch this, everyone. No! Oh, well. I just back in. These are all little all dicks, the skin, by the way. All the foot skin off the table. Yeah, all of Donut Films' foot skin is gone right. and it's replaced no, by it's dicks. Still a little bit. Oh, a little yeah. Bag it's sort of a bag. So, Donut Skin himself is here right now, in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you cut your hand off and leave it on a bus, hmm. you're, you're technically, technically on, still the bus. on the bus. Because you are. A part of you is. Well, yeah, you could rip a, t- a fucking fingernail, or like just a bit of your fingernail. Off. No, Same that's thing. a waste thing. That's a waste thing. Your hand is your. Yeah. My hand regrows, does it? Let's have a listen to this, Matt. <laughs> 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 Eating his dicks. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. All right, thanks for the dicks. That's It's different. I want more. They're very good. They did I taste hope these aren't nice. weed. Yeah, I know. I'd be terrified. Yeah, fuck me, can't. Smash two of or three of them. I'll be like, fuck, boys, I've got to get out of here, can't. I've got to get home, can't. Oh, this one's hard to open. We have a box, a package. That's what it sounds like inside. Sounds like it could be broken. No! You startled me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my God, I'm <laughs> Some cunt, some day's going to send us a bomb, can't eh? Whoa! <laughs> Mm. Would you like some scissors? Oh, fuck oh, this. I got it now. Mate, there could be. I hope it's not valuable. Yeah, same. Ah! Whoa! 
Season 2, Episode 17, 1028. Marty, you're going to prison, you filthy nonce. Matthew, I need you to get up. Season 2, Episode 11, and skip ahead to the time, 1028. Question for Marty. How much would it take for you to flash your dick to a playground full of kids? <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? That's the um, question. I haven't answered it yet. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's hard, it'd be hard now. Like, oh, the gold position bars. I'm in life now, and it'd, it'd take, like, it'd take at least 10 grand. <laughs> oh, 10 <laughs> Nah, it'd be, it. back in the day, I was a bit more desperate. Look, I probably would have done it for a fucking Happy Meal gum, a pineapple, a cheeky pineapple. But um, yeah, it's probably not worth the risk now. Seven bars of gold. I'll do it for seven. Oh, Wait. oh there is a seventh. Damn it. I see. That is a fucking... Fuck, that's clever. Good. Someone's very just sent clever. us seven bars of gold. That's very creative. Fuck, okay, well, I guess... They were th- listening. Thank you to whoever sent that in. I guess tomorrow... Um, we'll go to a playground. Yeah. And then Marty goes to jail. Maybe I can just pretend that I'm blind or something. Yeah. This was sent in by Patricia. Thank you very much, Patricia. What country is she from? UK. Oh. Thank uh, you, Patricia. Very guess- creative. I'm going to keep these and sell them. I'm going to put this right here as a reminder to myself that I must show my dick. So, thank you for sending that in. How long have we been gone for, Matty? A while now. Should we move the dicks? So you don't eat them? An hour? We've just gone over an hour. Fuck it, let's just eat them. It's yeah, I'm just going to eat them. If they are weed, like, we're in for a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Can you drive me home if they're weed, Brant? Well, maybe weed? I should eat one and then I can have tomorrow off work. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to take fucking 10 fucking years well, off work. I'll have work, to take two <laughs> weeks off. <laughs> um, all right, it's time for the fucking prank call, is it? <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm still in Margaret. Hello, Isabel speaking. Oh, hello. My name uh, Arnold Fine. I uh, find your number, uh, you uh, Doc Walker. Yes. You walk a dog? Okay. Uh, I uh, have a funny uh, job for you. Um, you Where you uh, walk the dog? Where in Brisbane? Uh, south side. South Brisbane. Good, good. Yes. So I, I have uh, two dogs, uh, two big dogs, uh, and uh, one... One is um one is a pig. One is a uh, roughly eighty kilo pig. Uh, gets along well with the dog. I call to see if uh, you maybe a uh, walk dog and pig. No. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, pig is too big. And the pig is a very uh, train. I put a rope around his neck and uh, he give you a, a little. Little taser for him, and uh, he uh, behave fine. He uh, need exercise. My wife is sick; she in bed and cannot uh, walk him. And uh, our yard is small, not much room for movement. So I need him walked, and I need him walked by um, say tomorrow. You free? What time? No, I'm not free tomorrow. So your pig lives in an apartment? No, at a uh, little townhouse. Uh, pig. Uh, 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 townhouse down in uh, Cannon Hill, and uh, uh, with the dog, with the dog as well, uh, lived with dog, so not alone. It has friend, and I walk, uh, need walking, or it uh, go crazy and, and uh, yes. g- get the fat. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I can't help you. Um, you. Look, look, I pay. I know it's a strange, huh? but I pay yes. p- premium price for my pig. I pay. I sell to boot, to butcher and it, uh, feed the family. So I pay premium price for my pig exercise. You see, so whatever you charge an hour, you double. Okay, thank you. No, 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 you come back to me, darling. You do not leave Arnold Fine on the phone. My pig need to be walked. Where do you live? Oh, Oh. God, he's such a beautiful man. I fucking love him. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. Arnold Fine needs to fucking do audiobooks. Oh, imagine the three little pigs. Damn it, so man! They good. fucking they're so quick to hang up yeah, this time. They yeah. she, she knew straight away. She just thought you were a joke as soon as you opened your mouth up. <laughs> Dog walkers aren't very nice oh, people. Dude, yeah, fucking hell, yeah. Fucking Arnold Fine is such a good dude. 
I loved how he goes, the dog gets very long and very well with the pig. <laughs> <laughs> we're the best, we're the best, we're the best, best, best. You got a dick on your island. <laughs> ah, wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> ah! Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>